She drifts freely, untethered from waking life, unhindered by reality. She is the dreamer, and she dreams both unbidden and unbound. Her dreams are not lucid, but formless and ever-changing, and she floats upon the swirling eddies of emotion they stir up. All things of the waking world are to her just distant echoes, half heard and half remembered, as she passes from one dream to the next. She shapes the world around her spontaneously, attended by an army of sleepwalkers who share her grand slumbering visions. Among all of us, her power to shape and alter the world is second to none. Moment to moment, she births phantasms and fantasies, and without even thinking, she alters the very flesh of the corrupt, reshaping it into whimsical and spectacular forms. Not all of her dreams are peaceful. Some are like tempests, as when she remembers the early days of our time in hell. When she passes through such nightmares, the world grows darker, shaking and heaving in time with her frightened breath. When she goes to war against the rotten heart of Menoth's creation with the wicked harvest, she does not fight. She allows her dreams to remake the armies set against her. The dreamer does not speak with us often, and when she does, it says a whispered soliloquy. But we hold her sleepless speech as prophecy, for one often finds truths in the world hidden amidst fiction of dreams.